so good evening today we are going to see design of floor beam and beam we are going to consider it as simply supported beam so we have designed floor beam ab as shown in figure so we are going to design this beam 4 meter effective span we are considering over here slab as shown in figure to carry 300 mm thick wall depth of slab 120 floor to floor height 3.4 meter beam is simply supported at ends m25 fe415 ff1 kN per meter square live load 3 kN per meter square unit weight of machinery 20 kN per meter cube first effective span 4000 mm we are directly consider it as effective span trial depth we have l effective upon 13 so 4000 upon 13 307.69 mm millimeters. So we have D plus D dash. Now we have this value as G. We have this value as D dash as 40. And then we have 347.69 millimeter. So we will provide 350 millimeter. And then we have 310 millimeter effective depth. Load calculations. Now we have three loads on this. We can see we have dead load, load from slab, plus weight of wall, plus self weight of beam. So we have to consider these three loads. So first we will see uh, load from slab. So now we have uh, load from slab. So we have these uh, load are shared by different beams in this fashion. Longer span will share trapezoidal load and shorter span will share triangular load. Now for span AB we have this triangular load or load transferred from slab to a slab on shorter span is this triangle. So we have to consider equivalent load of triangle in terms of UDL already we have seen and for this we have formula that is WLX by 3 and W we have total load on slab. So we have load from slab, self weight we have 25 D comes 3 kN per meter because we are assuming unit width. Then floor finish we have 1 kN per meter and live load we have 3 kN per meter. Now, if we will add this total load, we have 3 plus 1, 4 plus 3, 7 kilonewton per meter. So, load from slab to beam, we have WLX by 3, W is 7 into 4 by 3, LX we have 4, so 4 by 3. So, we have total load from slab to beam, so 28 upon 3 will be 9.33 kilonewton per meter. Then we will switch over to weight of wall. So we have unit weight is given 20. So this is actually unit weight of wall or we need to be unit weight of machinery 20 into B into H. Now we have floor to floor height is 3.4 meter and we have taken overall depth of beam as 0.35 and therefore we will get this value that is equal to 3.05 height. So we have 20 into 0.3 into 3.05, 18.3 kilonewton per meter. Then we have self weight of beam 25B into D, width we have 0.3 and depth we have 0.35 is 2.63 kN per meter. So we have total load on beam 9.33 plus 18.3 plus 2.63 which will be 30.26 kN per meter. Then we have factored load 1.5 into 30.26. We will have this value that is equal to 45.39 kN meter. So we have 45.39 and effective span we have 4 meter. Now from this we are in position to find bending moment. So we have step 4 WUL square by 8. WU we have 45.39 into L square by 8 is 90.78 kN meter. Now we have depth from bending moment consideration. Now we have KU max 0.48 because we have FE415 and for FE415 we have this value 0.48. RU max we have 0.36 FCK KU max in bracket 1 minus 0.42 KU max. So 0.36 into 25 into 0.48 1 minus 0.42 into 0.48. So that gives me value 3.45 Newton per mm square. And now we will find value of D required MU max upon RU max into B. And if we will substitute this value RU max we have 3.45 MU we have 90.78. And B, we have 300. And that will give me value 296.16 millimeter, which is required. And we have provided this value as 310 millimeters. Therefore, okay. 
then we have next step reinforcement so we have asts 0.5 fck upon f1 minus root of 1 minus 4.6 mu upon fck bd square into bd substitute value fck 25 f5 415 mu 90.78 tends to 6 fck 25 b we have 300 and d we have 310 and from this we will get value of asti is 984.48 mm square so now we are in position now if we will go for three bars of uh, uh, 20 then we are going to get this value as 9314 into 3 we will get this value as 942 if we will go four bars then it will be larger when so it will be 1256 which is much greater than this we will go combination if we will go two bars of uh, 20 then we are going to get it as 628 and then we will go two bars of uh, uh, 16 which will be 201 we will get it as 402 and that will gives me 1030 so it's okay so we have 984 required and if we will provide 1030 that is sufficient so we will go two bars of 20 mm plus two bars of 16 mm and from this we will get provide uh, two bars of 20 mm and two bars of uh, 16 mm fine so that is tall then check for deflection so now we have uh, l effect upon d d we have provided 310 it comes 12.9 which is less than 20 which is basic l by d ratio for simply support type so this is basic l by d ratio for simply supported beam and therefore it satisfies our criteria then we have next step check for development length so now we have to find shear force for shear force <coughs> in triangle we have w lx by 4 so we have w7 lx 4 upon 4 we will get this value as 7 kN per meter now we will find total load on beam it comes 20 uh, 2.12 so actually we have correction over here so we have value of uh, uh, load that is beam and this value 18.3 and self weight of beam 2.63 now that was as it is so you just make correction over there so here you have to take value as 18.3 and this value we have to take as 2. Point, that is uh, 25 into b into d and this value comes 2.33 something and then actually we have to take this total load and then we have to multiply it so that correction you can go i will keep now as it is then we have 1.5 into 22.13 i will get it as 33.18 kN per meter then we have vu is equal to wu l by 2 now w u i have considered uh, as 45.39 so we have this as actually 7 plus 18.3 plus 2.33 so that comes 27.63 so we have this value 27.63 and if we will multiply it by 1.5 then we have into 1.5 and this value comes 41.44 so we have this value 41.45 now if we will put this value here that is 41.45 then we will get it as 82.9 so this value i will get it as 82.9 kN now mu we have 90.78 upon 245.39 kN meter so now ld we have again 5 sigma s upon 4 tau bd and we will get this value as 752.19 mm now 1.3 mn m1 upon u plus l not so we will get it as half bending moment 45.39 actually we have this value 82.9 and then we will get this plus 12 into 16 and this value we have so 45.39 to the power 3 divided by 82.9 divided by 
82.9 multiplied by 1.3 plus we have 12 into 16 and that value comes 903.78 so that is again on safer safer side and that satisfies our criteria then we have last step check for shear so we have 90.78 that is my shear force which is at center we will calculate value at critical section so we have 90.78 minus we have this value 45.39.3 by 2 plus 0.3 when gives me 69.9 kilonewton then we have uh, this value 69.9 so this value we have 69.9 kilonewtons then we have percentage of steel if we will calculate we have 1030 and percentage if we will find 100 into 1030 divided by 300 into 310 and if we will calculate this value then we have this percentage 1.1 now we have only 50% steel at support so we are going to consider this as 50% steel at support and therefore we have considered this 1.22 divided by 2 and that will gives me 0.55 percentage if we will go to table 19 m25 so we will get this value tau uc 0.51 newton per mm square which will gives me vuc is equal to tau uc bd and that value gives me 47.43 kilo newton then we have vusv minimum 0.4 b into d so now we have actually this value again 300 and we will get it as so this value also we have 310 and from this we will get this value that is equal to 37.2 so we have this value 37200 and this will be 37.2 kN and then if we will go with this 47.43 plus we have 37.2 and then we will get this as 37.2 plus 47.43 and value we will get 84.63 and this value is greater than vu design 69.9 kN therefore okay and then for we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement so we have actually this bar diameter so we have 8 mm stirrups and then we will get three criteria first 221.92.75d we have 232.5 mm and 300 and minimum of this is 220 so 8 mm tor at 220 mm center to center as minimum shear reinforcement and then we will draw the diagram so we have three bars of 20 mm sorry two bars of 20 mm plus two bars of 16 tor so actually we have this as tor this we will keep as anchor bar 212 and then we have shear reinforcement 8 mm tor at 220 center to center section at mid span if we will calculate we have two bars of 20 plus two bars of 16 and uh, anchor bars we have two of 12 and the shear reinforcement we have 8 mm at 220 mm center to center so this is all about your floor beams and today we will stop here only so thank you